Hi, my name is Rian Faisal. This is my lecture about an ectopic pregnancy. In this video, we are going to learn what is an ectopic pregnancy, how to diagnose an ectopic pregnancy, and what are the management options of ectopic pregnancy. Let's get started. What is an ectopic pregnancy? It is an implantation of pregnancy outside the endometrial cavity and it accounts for 2 to 3 percent of all pregnancies. The maternal mortality rate of ectopic pregnancy accounts for 0.2 per 1,000 pregnancies. The fallopian tube is the most common location of ectopic implantation, accounting for 97 percent. And in the tube, the ambular report is the most common part. Other side, abdominal, ovarian, cervical, and caesarean scar. How you can diagnose an ectopic pregnancy? Careful history is taken to assess the risk factors and the symptoms suggestive ectopic pregnancy. Regarding to the risk factors, if there is one prior ectopic pregnancy, the risk of recurrence increased by 10 persons. If there is two prior ectopic pregnancy, the risk increased by 25 persons. Other risk factors include prior pelvic or abdominal surgery, pelvic inflammatory disease is also one of the risk factors for ectopic pregnancy. History of infertility. history of intrauterine device and assisted reproductive technology. Early diagnosis is aided by high index of suspicions and every reproductive aged woman who present with abdominal pain, vaginal bleeding and or amenorrhea should be screened for pregnancy. And you should be aware of the vague symptoms such as fainting, Shoulder tip pain, rectal brazier, and pain on defecation. Also, during assessment, the patient may present in shock state, and the abdominal examination may show tenderness, distension, and or guarding. And vaginal examination show adenexial. Tenderness. Transvaginal sonography is a diagnostic tool of child's first tubal ectopic pregnancy. The following ultrasound criteria may be used for diagnosis of ectopic pregnancy. Heterogeneous mass present in 50% of cases. Presence of empty extrauterine gestational sac present in about 40% of cases. Presence of extrauterine gestational sac with or without yolk sac and fetal bull present in 10 to 20% of cases. Cedo sac, which means collection of the fluid within the endometrial cavity, free fluid in the peritoneal cavity, ring, ring or bagel sign, which means the affected tube is seen swollen with cystic center. HCG help in the diagnosis of ectopic pregnancy. Discriminatory level is the beta HCG value above which the intrauterine pregnancy should be visible on ultrasonography, and this value should be as high as 3,500 ballet international unit to avoid misdiagnosis and the possible interruption of pregnancy. Ectopic pregnancy could be expectant management, could be medical or surgical management. Expect expectant management suitable for the stable patient asymptomatic, able to the follow-up, and beta-HCG less than 
1,500 international units. The reported success rate varies from 50 to 100 persons. And during the follow-up, she needs to do twice weekly HCG and weekly transvaginal ultrasonography. Medical management with, meto with metotrexate. Metotrexate is folic acid antagonist, and the patient should be counseled about the risk of ectopic rupture, and she should be informed to avoid alcohol or vitamins containing folic acid. Nice recommend metotrexate for the following woman. First, those with no significant pain. And mass less than 35 millimeter. And even as a single intramuscular dose. The dose is 50 milligram per meter square. And the first day we do measuring for the CBC, liver function test, and kidney function test, and beta HCG. Then we do other, many, uh, other measurement for beta HCG on day four and day seven. If the level of beta HCG decreased by 15% between day four and day seven, so this is this means success of treatment, and you need to do beta HCG weekly until the level is done for 15 international units. And if the level of beta HCG don't decrease by 15%, repeat transvaginal ultrasound to exclude rupture ectopic pregnancy and give the second dose metotrexate. Transient pain is a common side effect for metotrexate. It's occur between 3rd and 10 days after starting treatment. And this pain because tubal abortion and lasts for 4 to 12 hours. About the surgical management of ectopic pregnancy, we should know there are two options. Laparoscopy is a preferred option than the open approach, and there are two surgical options: salpingectomy, that means removal the whole tube, or salpingotomy, which is opening only part of the tube without removal the tube. Salpingectomy should be performed in the presence of healthy contralateral tube, and salpingotomy done if the contralateral tube damage and the woman desire for future fertility. When salpingotomy is the option, we should inform the woman about the risk of persistent trophoblastic disease, and about third of women may need further treatment either with metatroxate or salpingotomy. Also, there, are there is increased risk of further ectopic pregnancy in the conserved tube.